activities for listening and speaking. 3. Listening. Listen to a young child's talk to the wind in the poem The Wind by R. L. Stevenson. As you listen, fill in the blanks to complete a summary of the poem. The Wind by Robert Louis Stevenson I saw you toss the kites on high and blow the birds about the sky and all around I heard you pass like ladies' skirts across the grass. O oh, wind, a-blowing all day long, O oh, wind that sings so loud a song. I saw the different things you did but always you yourself you hid. I felt you push, I heard you call. I could not see yourself at all. O oh, wind, a blowing all day long. O oh, wind that sings so loud a song. O oh, you that are so strong and cold. O oh, blower, are you young or old? Are you a beast of field and tree? Or just a stronger child than me? O oh, wind, a blowing all day long. O oh, wind that sings so loud a song. 1. What does the wind do to the following things? A. Kite B. Birds 2. The sound of the passing wind has been compared to a loud dash. 3. Though the child cannot see the wind, what does he? A. Feel B. Hear 4. In the last stanza, the poet wants to know if the wind is A. B. C. Speaking, think of what life would have been like in the year 1950. That was a time when there were no TVs, no computers, no smartphones, none of the gadgets and equipment we depend upon nowadays. But it was also a time when there were fewer people, more trees, clean air and water. Discuss in groups. Talk about life during that time. What did children do to entertain themselves? and keep themselves busy? How different was life from what it is today?